Hello everyone and welcome in another 8051 tutorial. Today I'm going to start a new series on 8051 and we are going to use C language this time instead of assembly to program the 8051 microcontroller. Uh, the compiler, we have two options. Uh, one is the Keel Microvision compiler and you can get that compiler from keel.com slash download products and you can select the c51 and uh, this compiler is uh, limited uh, for its demo version and you need to purchase uh, the copy but i highly recommend this compiler if you can purchase uh, this one but if you are need to choose uh, the free version and I am using the free version of uh, the C compiler for the 8051 microcontroller and I'm going to use the SDCC compiler which is a small device C compiler and it is very popular uh, so we uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to blink an LED using the SDCC compiler uh, you can use uh, the code blocks IDE and uh, that code blocks IDE for uh, will help you uh, the to create the 8051 projects for the SDCC compiler but uh, I'm not going to use the code blocks you can search the code blocks and you can create um, project for the SDCC compiler here but I'm going to use a blank notepad plus plus as we are using this notepad plus plus throughout over 8051 series which where we are we were using the assembly language compile assembly language programming and uh, now we uh, because we are starting uh, the c language programming for the 8051 I, i'm going to use the same command prompt and the notepad plus plus ide so the first thing that you need to include is the header file and i'm going to sharp include and 8052.h or like this okay and uh, the next thing you need to add a main function and i'm going to add a main function like this and the third thing you need to create an infinite loop uh, which is while one so these things you need to do at least to make your first 8051 program i'm going to save this into a directory which is sdcc examples and i'm going to name it with the test2.c and now it is a c file the next thing is how to define a port and we can define an LED like this with the sharp define uh, macro and the pins are used with the underscore and I'm going to use a 2.0 pin for the LED and here I'm going to LED is equal to 1 and after that I need to create a delay and for that I need to create a variable and int i is equal to 0 the i is a variable which is a type of integer I'm going to and for the delay we are going to create i for loop i is equal to 0 i is less than 30,000 and uh, i plus plus this is a blank for loop and we can use this for loop for the delay and next thing is LED is equal to 0 and we need to copy this delay one more time and like this we are making the LED 1 and uh, taking a delay to make the LED visible then we are creating the LED 0 and taking a delay again the next thing is to how to compile with the SDCC compiler and I'm going to my command prompt like this into the directory where I saved my test c file and the command which is used to compile is sdcc make sure you have properly installed your sdcc compiler and add the environmental variable so you can access the sdcc compiler anywhere like this 
and uh, now to compile the file I need to add, uh, write the command stcc space my file name dot c and it will compile the file uh, we can uh, see uh, the compiled file with the die directory the file which it create is not the hex file it creates the i hex file i h x we need to convert this i h x file into proper hex file and for that we get another utility which is uh, pack i hex utility so we can use this command pack ihx space test2.ihx and with the greater than sign we need to write the led 2.hex and the file is written now we can up uh, we can add this into our microcontroller led 2.hex and uh, if we run and we need to visualize this 21 number pin and we can see that our LED is blanking so that's all for today's tutorial in this tutorial we see how to write a C code for the 8051 LED blinking using the STCC compiler and how to compile the code how to convert the IHX file into ATX file which is a hex file downloadable into the 8089C51 or 52 microcontroller. So that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you very much.